can plot a displacement time graph for an oscillating particle, and it's going to look like a sine wave. This graph is going to tell us how far away from the equilibrium this particle is going to be at a certain time. All these arrows that I'm drawing predicts the motion of the particle in the next instant in time. And now wouldn't it be great if we can find a method to compare the position of this particle at this time relative to what it was like originally? This method involves looking at the phase of a particle. Draw a circle and divide it into four quarters. If the origin is zero degree, after a quarter, that's 90 degrees. Half a circle is 180 degrees. Three quarters, that's 270 degrees. And coming around to a full circle, we have 360 degrees. Sine zero is going to give us zero. Sine 90 gives us one. Carry on using the sine function, you'll begin to see a pattern. We are able to use the sine function to represent a wave. Zero is where the equilibrium is. When sine 90 is 1, that represents the amplitude or maximum displacement. When it's negative 1, that is minimum displacement or the trough of the wave. So instead of putting time in the horizontal axis, we can have what's known as the phase of a wave. The phase of a wave can be measured in degrees. The phase at the origin is 0 degrees. A complete oscillation of a wave is 360 degrees. Half of that, 180. A quarter, 90 degrees. So do you see how we can represent the cycle of a wave using a circle? Remember how we can represent angles in radians instead of degrees? We can do the same thing here. 0 degrees is 0 pi, a full circle is 2 pi, half a circle is pi. That applies to our wave as well. A complete oscillation of a wave is 2 pi, half an oscillation is just pi. Then half of that is pi over 2. Then after one cycle or one oscillation of the wave, we can carry on and restart the cycle. When two particles or two positions in a wave have the same phase, we say that they are in phase. If they do not have the same phase, they are out of phase. Let's take a look at an example. I'll mark out different positions in a wave and compare them. Position A marks a phase of zero. The only other position that is in phase with uh, position A is going to be G. The reason why A is not in phase with D, even though they're both on the equilibrium, is because A is moving upwards while D is moving downwards. Position B will be in phase with I and C is going to be in phase with J. Since position A is 0 degree and position B is 90 degrees, A and B are out of phase by 90 degrees. B is at 90 degrees, F is at 270 degrees, so they are out of phase by 180 degrees. Since G is at 360 degrees and B is at 90 degrees, they are out of phase by 270 degrees. We have a special name for positions or particles that are out of phase by 180 degrees. We call that antiphase. Not only can we make phase comparisons between positions or particles in a single wave, we can look at the phase difference between two waves. These two waves are in phase because they're both beginning at zero degrees. These two waves are 90 degrees out of phase. These two waves are 180 degrees out of phase and therefore they are anti-phase. 
If you ever forget to phase at a certain point in a wave, the trick is always go back to a circle. A complete oscillation is 360 degrees just like a circle. Hopefully this video has adequately explained what phase of a wave is. Um, thanks for watching.